sacred is the hour when two Christians come together in love to be one in marriage. This is the purpose of God, our Heavenly Father, for His own. In the beginning, God saw that it was not good for man to be alone. He took part of the man and created a helpmate at his side to love, encourage, and strengthen in every test and every circumstance of life. With the coming of each generation, God our Creator and the author of life has said, Whoso findeth the wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of the Lord. So we are here at this place of God's creation, which is an altar that He has made as friends to rejoice with friends, and no problem or need should dim the joy of this hour when two Christian young people come to unite their lives in scriptural marriage. The prayers of godly parents are answered, and the dreams of youth are real realized here at this place. And from this hour, we trust that the purposes of God for a new home will be begin to be achieved with the union of Jonathan Michael Spears and Julianne Prisca. The presence of families and friends indicates that those who have given birth and nurture to you are now ready to share you with each other and with God who has given you life. As you stand before God, Jonathan and Julianne, your loved ones are here to witness your love for each other. The Word of God also gives instruction for you to understand the nature, quality, and spirit of the love that will make your lives rich and profitable. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or conceited or proud. Love is not ill-mannered or selfish or irritable. Love does not keep a record of wrongs. Love is not happy with evil, but is happy with truth. Love never gives up. Its faith, hope, and patience never fail. Love is eternal. So Jonathan, Scripture instructs you in your obligations to Julianne in this marriage. For this cause, a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. With this and other biblical directions, Jonathan, do you take Julianne to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep her only to you so long as you both shall live? I do. Julianne, you are also guided by Scripture in your role as wife. The wives shall give to their husbands honor. The wife must be serious, not slanderous, sober, faithful in all things. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. In keeping with God's purposes, Julianne, do you take Jonathan to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Do you promise to cherish him and submit to him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only to him as long as you both shall live? As your joined hands here together, let me say this. Jonathan and Julianne have expressed their love for each other, and because they have solemnly pledged themselves to keep these vows, I pronounce them man and wife. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. As we share your joys, and we share a heartfelt prayer for you, for your abiding health, happiness. May God's choice blessings be with you now and always. Jonathan, you may kiss your bride. Woo! <laughs> I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Spears. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo!